Miranda and I teach young children English as a second language through drama. And today I wanted to introduce to you Bingo. Now you might already be familiar with the game Bingo because it is a great game to play in English language classes, especially with children who can't yet read or write because with bingo cards you can have an illustration on them and the children can just recognize, read what illustration it is and play with it that way. Now I've played lots of different games, hundreds, hundreds of games of bingo, and it, but it wasn't until a few years ago when I saw my nieces who were probably about three or four at the time, they said, auntie, do you want to come and play a game of bingo? Well, no, not really. <laughs> oh, all right then. Okay, so I was forced to go and play their bingo. But then, to my surprise, they brought out this really colourful box and opened up the box and inside the box they pulled out, I was just expecting something a bit boring, a bit traditional like, but they pulled out and they gave me a shopping list and they gave me a shopping trolley and I thought, oh, I like this game. All right then, let's play, let's play. And it was a great game. Just the fact that I had something tangible in my hand. I had a shopping list and I had my shopping trolley and I was really looking forward to playing the game and filling up my, my shopping trolley. So I thought, I have to play this with my, with my English students. And I, when I did, both my students, my preschoolers and their parents, they absolutely loved it. So much so that they went out, they bought it themselves and they play it and they even at home and they even send me photographs of them playing it at home too. Very simple, it's just a basic game of bingo. You have your counters all set out in front of you. You give each child a shopping list. You give each child either a shopping trolley or you can give them a shopping basket. And then you start off, I usually start off when I turn over a counter and I say, hmm, have you got any cheese? Look on your list. Have you got any cheese? So the child will look on their list. Have I got any cheese? Hmm, no, I haven't got any, any cheese. But somebody else will have, and they'll look on their shopping list and say, yes, I've got some cheese, I've got cheese. And they will fill up their basket with cheese like that. Then what you can do is ask a child to come and uncover, choose a, a token and uncover it and say either the word, just strawberries, or have you got any strawberries or do you have any strawberries? And you look on your list, yes, no. <laughs> I say, no, I haven't got any strawberries. Or somebody else will have, and they'll add it to their basket or their trolley until they fill up all of the space in their basket, the six spaces that you have in your basket and at the end they'll say bingo when they filled it all up. So lots of excitement, just the fact that you have the, you have the little um, list and you have your, your baskets and your trolleys. Now here in this particular game there are only four lists but you, if I have more children I'll just double them up or in small groups and they have just as much fun or if you've got a small group it works perfectly well for them. So great little game, colourful, tactile, it encourages speaking, it brings um, a bit of life to lessons as well, <laughs> a bit of life and energy, that's what we need in our lesson. So that was this very simple game of bingo for you today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please follow me please, please follow me on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram. Uh, it would be great to have you join me. Okay, thanks for watching for today and until next time, be theatrical!